Go into the uh, pocket. Look at the pocket. We'll go to second Ezra. You know, look at 16. Second Ezra 16. And we're going to. Verse 62. So, yeah. And the Spirit of the Almighty Power, which made all things and stretched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth, surely he knoweth your inventions. He knows you. And what ye think in your hearts, which are true, your hearts is your mind. He knows what you think in your minds. Even then, them that sin, even them that sin, and would hide their sin, want to hide their sin. Therefore, have the Most High exactly search out all your works, and He will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, you meet the judgment seat of Amashiach Yerushai, who the Most High has given all judgment to, to the power of the Most High. He shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. See? What will you do? Or how will you be hid? Or how will you hide your sins? Therefore, the Most High, His angels, you see, say, "What will you do, or how will you hide your sins before the Most High and His angels?" You must behold the Most High, the Most High God Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins, transgressing His laws, His rules, and regulations. People. And forget them, and forget and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever, so that the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. It's going to take some of you away. You already know about that. Through the FEMA camps, the hot concentration camps, and feed you with their idols. And they that consent unto them shall he had shall be had in derision and in reproach disgrace and trotting underfoot it is going to do you in for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the most high they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the most high. See? Remember, Satan knows you got a short time to come down with much wrath. That's why we have to have a higher level of spirituality with the most high, through a Mashiach Yahushai, by a strong Mashiach Yahushai, that we can be here in these days and not going through this. But there's going to be some that's going to have to go through it, because it is written. Verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See? People gonna be being cast out of their houses no matter where you live. And the waste and spoil me, they're gonna be robbing people. Then shall they be known who my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold is to gold in the fire. Here, O ye my beloved, to the mother children of Israel. He said, Romans 9, 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. He said, Hear, O ye, my beloved, twelve tribes of Israel, said the Most High, Behold, 
in days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. It's our faith. So I know no matter what, He's going to deliver us from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. So we got a power that's going to lead us. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. So this is very important. People talk about you not under the law. So what you think going to do the ones that don't keep his commandments? He ain't going to guide them. He going to be with them. You on your own like you are now. He said in his word, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and, and precepts said most high power, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. See? It's very important. Verse 54. Second Matthew 16 and 54. Behold, the Most High knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. He knows this. Nobody get away with anything. Why? Because he is the power. People think they're going to get away with something, you know, nothing. Nothing. Believe. Believe you, me. Believe the word of the Most High. Most suddenly. Ecclesiastes 23 and 19. 20, 29, Salaki. Ecclesiastes 23 and 29. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Most High are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. You see, what a lot of people don't realize is the Most High speaks to his prophets, those that Uh, in touch with him in a real way spiritually just a moment Okay, so Ecclesiasticus 23 and, 20 and 29, such a man only fear the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Most High are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. You see that? So. Most I consider all the secret parts, and he finds out the secret parts, and what does he do? Because a lot of you don't realize that he reveals, he revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. This is what the Most High is doing. technical difficulty. It's a lot of people like that. Um, how does he do it? So he has secrets and this is what he does. 
Minus. Amos the third chapter and the seventh verse. Surely the Most High will do nothing. Amos 3 and 7. But he revealed his secret unto his servants, who are the children of Israel, the prophets, the men of Israel. So he reveal secrets. Everything you think you get away with, people think, nope, you don't see me. You know what he said? He revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So that's how he operates. You see, a lot of you don't realize that. that's why he said you got to be on his great side. <laughs> you got to be knowing him. He got to know you. And hopefully this will be part of what you'll look forward to as we read and still goes along with Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine is coming, food shortages. He shall redeem thee from death. It will take about two hours. The stores be empty. In famine, no food. He shall be redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scores of the tongue, whatever they're saying about us. Neither shall they all be afraid of destruction when it cometh. It's coming. The destruction is coming. And he said you're not going to be afraid if you have a relationship with the Most High. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. That means you have to be joyous to laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Meaning the beast is going to be eating people up. So you're not going to be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle, your body, shall be in peace. And thou shalt visit thy habitation, and thou shalt not sin. It's very important. You want this to happen, you've got to stop sinning. You've got to find out what's right according to the laws that's commanded the most high. You've got moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, and...